Hi foodie friends and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Karen. Today is Monday, January 18th and it is Martin Luther King Day. He loved to eat and he loved all the foods of the South like fried chicken and collard greens. His favorite pie was sweet uh, pecan pie and he loved sweet potato casserole. So today I'm going to be combining two of his favorite foods, pecan pie and sweet potato casserole into one and I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna be using two different kinds of sweet potatoes today, a white sweet potato and an orange one because I like the flavors of both. It's gonna be quick and easy, so let's get cooking. For our recipe, we're gonna need about two and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. Now I'm using one very large white sweet potato, which is called a Hannah yam, and then one of the traditional orange one. Now we want to peel this and cut it into cubes. Now that we have them peeled, we're going to chop them into one inch cubes. Now that we have our potatoes chopped up, we're going to add them to some water in a pot. And now we're going to boil these 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and tender. Now while our sweet potatoes are boiling, let's get started on our pecan streusel topping. We're going to need four tablespoons of, of salted soft butter, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of packed light or dark brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one cup of chopped pecan. Now mix this up well. Now we want it to look crumbly like this. It's supposed to be a streusel. Our potatoes have been boiling for 15 minutes and they're nice and tender. When you stick a knife in there, see, it comes out really easily. And now we're gonna go ahead and mash these up. I think it looks pretty with the two different colors. Okay, now this looks pretty mashed. I am not looking for it to be completely smooth. I like it when there's a few little chunks in there. And now to a large bowl, we're gonna add one egg. A third of a cup of pure maple syrup. A half a cup of heavy cream or half and half. A quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, as I've told you guys before, this spice is really strong, so a little goes a long way. And now we're going to whisk this together. And now we're going to add in our sweet potatoes that we mashed and mix this all together. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. And for the final thing, we're going to need the zest of a small orange. And now we're ready to put this in a greased casserole dish. Okay, so I've sprayed this nicely and now we're going to add our mixture. And spread it evenly in your pan. And 
And now we're going to take our pecan streusel mixture and evenly spread that over the top. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like marshmallows on top of my sweet potatoes. They get really mushy and it's way too sweet. I like this contrast of the crunchy streusel. It's so good. And now we have our oven preheated at 350 degrees. And we are going to bake this approximately 30 minutes until the top is a nice golden brown. Okay, you guys, so I have paired my sweet potato pecan casserole with some fried chicken, some macaroni and cheese, some red beans and rice, all which were favorites of MLK. And you know what time it is. Time to give it a bite. Hands down, the best sweet potato casserole I've ever had. The potatoes are not too sweet, but you get that really nice, crispy, crunchy pecan strusel on the top. It is delicious. You get that little hint of orange zest that's in there. It's nice and buttery. You guys have to make this. It is not just for Thanksgiving or Christmas. It makes a great side dish for any kind of meats that you're having. So I hope you guys will give this a try. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.